Welcome to my channel, everyone. Today I am doing a review on a piece of nonfiction by Sam Harris. The Moral Landscape, How Science Can Determine Human Values. This book, the title of this book, was very peculiar to me. I didn't know what I was getting into this, and it turns out the book is something other than what I originally thought it was going to be. In this book, Sam Harris paints a moral landscape. On the one end, of the moral landscape, we have the worst possible bad for everyone, a terrible moral situation. On the other end of the moral landscape, we have the best possible good for everyone. And then there's everywhere in between. And he goes on to propose that science, particularly neuroscience, can determine certain facts about what is always good concerning conscious beings and he really goes into depth with the science involved behind the morality concerning conscious beings. When I first started this book, I actually thought it was going to be an atheistic kind of attack on religion in general. And although Sam does state his problems with religion, the book is not an attack on religion. It's a, it's a philosophical piece about human morals what we know to be right, what we know to be wrong, how we perceive morality as conscious beings, and what we can determine as far as neuroscience in particular uh, concerning what is always right and what is always wrong. And he goes on to conclude with certain things that we can do, in his opinion, on how society in general can move toward the, the more moralistic end of the moral landscape so that we can all live a better life. Deeply philosophical piece here. This book is the deepest piece that I have ever read on ethics. Sam Harris is a doctor of neuroscience and he also has a bachelor's degree in philosophy. So he's really qualified to write a piece like this. And although I kind of had some ideas about what he might discuss in this book, I had no idea that it was going to be this deep. And not only deep, but backed by neuroscientific facts. Really interesting case he puts up here. When I first started this book, I was already kind of abrasive toward it. I thought to myself, mm, science can't really determine human values because morality is a really slippery slope. You know, it's very hard to define what morality is and what is right and what is wrong. It can be cultural, it can be um, individual, it can be objective, it can be subjective. It's a very broad term, morality is. But Harris really makes a lot of sense when he talks about conscious beings, how we experience the world, and what it is to be moral as a conscious living being. Stupendous, stupendous piece. I give this book five stars out of five based upon the fact that I was very much so surprised and enlightened by the way Sam Harris introduces some facts about neuroscience in such a way that the non-scientist can absorb and appreciate and understand what he's talking about. So not only is he coming from the perspective of a neuroscientist, but uh, his bachelor's degree in philosophy really shows that he's really pondered ethics a lot throughout his life. I can understand how a religious person, especially a fundamentalist, could have a problem with Harris's perspective in this book. But I'll say this, as I've gotten a bit older, I've come to really appreciate reading pieces uh, from the perspective of, of people that differ in their opinions on the world um, than what I believe. I, I find more value oftentimes reading something that differs from my belief system than reading something that simply reinforces my own beliefs. So I think that regardless of what your worldview is, 
uh, that there's something to take away from Sam Harris's The Moral Landscape. I absolutely loved this book. I had to keep going back and reading things uh, multiple times in some parts of it because it was so deep that I just had to ponder it more than once to, to kind of take it all in. And there's an excellent uh, notes section in the back that I recommend you go along with as you're reading because it recommends a lot of good books concerning ethics and morals and consciousness and psychology in general. Sam Harris's The Moral Landscape. I give this book a five-star review. It's a fascinating piece, the deepest piece on ethics that I've ever read in my absolute favorite book on ethics currently. I definitely, definitely recommend this book.